to many fight fans, this bout was way overdue. There's the opening bell, and here we go. As I'll dictate the fight, I'll use my hand speed and unorthodox moves to take the early. Two seconds to go in March of 1990 is the third man in the ring. Fighter. There's only one undefeated fighter in that ring right now, and that's Chavez. So no matter what, I'll see him pillar to boast. Yes. And he is holding on. He is holding on inside very, very tight. He is not. Round two in this 12-round championship fight. Bobby, in your opinion, can, cannot be too effective unless he stops every once in a while and really unloads. He's got to get his. From his deficiencies via the showboat, Chavez does not believe that one minute. He feels that underneath all of the glitch. The straight right hand that Chavez is throwing is going to be key. And Problem is Camacho is fighting a purely defensive fight. Hate to see Richard Steele take a point off for low blows from Chavez. I'll tell you what, Ferdy, up that lightly. We go to round three, scheduled for 12 for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Good right hand by Chavez. And holding on, spinning off and moving. There's a left hand by Camacho. What a workman is Chavez. Oh, he landed with the right. It's going to be very difficult to hit Camacho with two or three big clean punches in a row. What a snappy right hand, a straight right. Help him. Oh. It is somebody help me. I got to be here for 12 rounds with this guy. It's round four now. Camacho comes out. Oh, he's got to do something. He just can't run. But Chavez has him against the rope. But Camacho certainly he can do damage, especially if he catches Chavez maybe a little over anxious running into a shot. Even using combinations. Oh, oh snappy right once again, a wicked right hand. But he's starting off faster. He told us he would start off faster. Oh, a left uppercut by Camacho that got through. He but certainly. Well, to our knowledge, Chavez uh, in 81 pro fights has never been He's taking a lot of good shots and he's taking them well. Pretty good to the left. It's like an invitation here. I was. He's throwing that little. Have the celebrations. Combination and a great finish. Yeah, they were working on that cut on the bridge of his nose. We pointed it out in the last round. It's now the fifth. Frustration on Chavez's behalf. I mean, he can't get this guy in the corner. He can't keep him there. He can't get him to fight with him. Another wicked. Yeah. Chasing not as severe. That's, be, that's because he's not running as well. The running is slowing down, Bobby. Not to chase it. That was a nifty left hand, a straight. Oh. Keep him up, keep him Camacho up. Belted in the belly there by Chavez. He goes to the body again. And this is something fairly new to Julio Cesar Chavez. Usually he is the undercard fighter. On he gets counter punched and he never lands a second and third punch. And we're speaking of Camacho in that case. Right. So much pressure from so many angles and so many punches. You cannot block everything. Body shots. Well, that may be the only way that uh, Camacho can win a round. If Richard Steele takes away a point from the time I watched Chavez fight, the phrase systematic dismantling comes to mind. Yeah, exactly. Camacho okay. taking a lot of punches, just being administered by Chavez. Oh! Combination by Chavez. Punches in a row. Have a reverse gear. Nothing. All right, round seven. Three million dollars in merchandising this weekend. Fifty million. Is Chavez? I don't think that's desperation. I think he's just eager to get rid of. Punching it out. Punching it out. Made more sense two or three years ago when both were really at their physical peak. Is Camacho punching worthy of fighting Chavez right now? Well, I and then he played a lot, and that playment, that playing that he did, is evident right now in the ring. In the win trying to keep from getting his head taken off. Or worrying him so much that he has now gotten so yeah. defensive he can't even think about the Meldrick Taylor fight. He's fighting, he's fighting, all of a sudden you look at a close-up, uh-oh, who's hitting his eye? It's all swollen. Well, Hector Steele trying to get him to fight his way out, trying to keep. Macho tried to score, they'll do that before he takes a point away from him. Kill him up, kill him up. Oh, he's really getting hurt now. Camacho would have tried to butt him on purpose. He was just trying to cover up and hide Michelle. And that's... Or make a deal with him. Just don't hit me on the side anymore. I'll give you some... If he thinks he can win this fight, he is in a survival mode. Yeah, what we're looking at is the beginning of the end. Oh. 
it's too late it's beyond that. that huh? Yeah, it's beyond that as well. That thing's going to close completely. I've said he wanted to give him a beating. He didn't just want to knock him out. And that's what he's getting now. A beating. As I said, it's the beginning of the end, and that's what's happening. A blistering attack by Chavez. It could be near the end. Richard Steele looks no strength left. Those blasts to no, the oh, arms no, have oh, taken a punch. Oh, it's about over. That's it's not about bad. Oh, man. Another shot by Chavez. On his punches. His Not face bloody, his left eye swelled. Chavez now is just waiting on him to load up. Wants you wonder if Camacho can even see. What's a hit? Camacho's fighting better here than when he was in when he was fresh with his good eye. Camacho's fighting like this is his last round. He's gonna give it all he's got. Round 10. Again, the last time Chavez went all the way was September 14th, 1991. Oh, look at that little short punch. Explosions by Chavez. And that's what's happening here. No holding, no holding, no holding. Chavez has a little cut on, on almost uh, the top of his eye forehead. No let up from Chavez. Looking like a champion, and you got to be proud of it. That left hook to the top. He can't even hold the mouthpiece. It just keeps slipping out there in the corner. Round 11, scheduled for 12. There might be a slight cut over the right eye of Chavez. They're working on it. Here goes Chavez working on it. I wonder also, could there be, Bobby? Could there be, since Chavez... Well, we're halfway through the round, and it's gotten to be a little more subdued. Oh, another right hand. The right flush on the face of Camacho. And the assault raging. Chavez threw spent 30 seconds in round 11. The final round as they touch gloves. Pretty obvious what has to happen. Knowledge has never been on the canvas. And Camacho nearly went down. The rope saved him. I think he wants to put the punctuation mark on this fight. Based on what happened. It's like he'd feel bad if he left no, 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 before no, no, no. punching to the body. I mean, he just never quits unless he's got that left hand in the body. He didn't back up. He tried to come on, and he's just been out for You cannot. It's always to the body. It's, it's as if Chavez wants. I don't think there's a fighter that's ever for him that hasn't looked in the mirror for the rest of their life. Watch and your hand. Very well. Watch your hand. Yeah, very well. Watch your hand. 